Okay, so Pi News episode seven. Uh, this is uh, Twister OS 1.8 if you're interested. This is their Windows 7 theme, uh, but I've covered that in a separate video, but just in case you're wondering what operating system I'm using. Uh, and the browser works particularly well. You can see I've got loads of tabs open. I've been uh, queuing up a load of YouTube clips and things like that, and it, and it works incredibly well. So the first one I wanted to mention is the PiCast. Now this was a couple of weeks ago now, um, but I wrote it down and uh, I meant to cover it, and I think I must have forgotten to cover it. Uh, basically, the Pimeroni co-founders were on, and they mentioned that they've got 36 products in the pipeline. Uh, so it's these guys here. Uh, and if I close this one down and you can see he had a few on the desk uh, and he explained which products they were and a couple that I found interesting were first of all was the audio DAC shim uh, which is basically giving you uh, a better digital audio converter so you're getting better audio quality from your Pi uh, and as you can see it fits over the GPIO pins and uh, I think I've got another clip of it here on the actual Pi yeah, so you can see there, so we've got line out. If I just mute it, I could probably play it because it'll probably move it around and stuff. It gives you an audio line output uh, and it fits very nicely and very neatly on the Pi. So if you're into the audio side of it, then that might interest you a lot. So the next thing they showed uh, was the assistant shim. Uh, and this basically has a left and right microphone and a button on it. So it's designed for voice assistants. So things like SIRI, and uh, Amazon's assistant and also the one for Google. Uh, things like that would be uh, able to work on the Pi. Obviously it depends software wise, but uh, putting good quality microphones is really important for a, a voice assistant and it will have a button to launch it. So that, that just looked a bit interesting. That's something different. I've seen people do the Amazon assistant before on the Pi and that seemed to work well. So it's nice that this is a very simple way of adding it on. The next one is uh, this on off for a Raspberry Pi. So it's basically a button and a USB-C connection that also fits on the GPIO pins that allows you to safe shut down and also switch on your Pi. So without having to unplug anything, you'll be able to press a button. So I can see in commercial businesses and various different applications, it's just gonna be more handy rather than have to pull the plug out. The Nest Pi case that I got recently has safe shut down. I didn't try using it because it, it didn't, I didn't need it because I'm right next to it. But, uh, but yeah, that, that certainly would be interesting for a lot of people. There is an older version, uh, but this, I guess this is micro USB. Obviously you can't see from that side, um, but looking at it, uh, this looks like a Raspberry Pi 3 or older because the Ethernet's on the other side on the Pi 4. So yeah, three products that I was very interested in. Uh, let's close all that down. The next one is, uh, now I got contacted by, now where is it, it's here, GeekPi. Uh, and they showed me this new product, which is a, a case which has a SSD or a hard drive expansion in it, but it also gives you really nice connectivity. So on the front, you can see, well, in fact, I've got this. If I go to my desktop, close that down. This isn't released yet. They are sending me one. Uh, they asked if I'd be interested, and I definitely am. So that looks like two full-size HDMI connections. Uh, we've got five USB connections on the back, uh, an Ethernet connection, there's USB-C for power, but also on the front we've got another two USB connections, SD card slot and a power button. Now this really does look like uh, a game changer for the Pi. Uh, it's, it looks very neat, it's hard to guess the scale of it, but to, considering there's uh, a fan in there and it says brand new ice tower cooler inside, so that's really interesting because the Ice Tower cooler fan is excellent, the one I've got from 52Pi. And uh, yeah, to see one inside the case, but also have room for a hard drive, uh, it just, it almost looks too small, but, uh, but I guess it's not. Uh, so DeskPi V3 case. Haven't got any more details on it. There is a website, uh, which was this one and actually when I first clicked on it there was nothing filled in at all and you can see there's there's not there's not an awful lot there it's obviously in progress uh, while they're while they're releasing and everything Despi products blog yeah I don't think I don't think much of this is finished yet but uh, what is it despi.com 
is where you find about it. But uh, also watch my channel because uh, when I get it, I will definitely be reviewing it because it looks really interesting. Okay, so I hope all of this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.